Hey guys, welcome to flight lesson number five. If you're new here, my name is Piper. I'm learning to fly. You can check out videos one through four on our channel. If you are a loyal subscriber, thank you so much for your patience. We know it's been a while, like two months since our last lesson, but that was because our plane had to go in for some maintenance. It had its annual inspection and another inspection on the main spar of the plane. But she's ready to fly now. She's looking good. We're anxious to get back into the plane. Uh, it's been a while since I've been flying, so bear with me. We'll see how much I remember, but I'm excited. We're going to fly up to Oceano Airport and get some lunch, and it should be a very smooth, beautiful flight. Um, as always, make sure to keep the comments coming, guys. We love reading the comments. Have so much fun responding to them. Uh, make sure to like the video if you like it, and as always, hit the subscribe button and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post lots of fun behind the scenes stuff on there that you don't want to miss. So yeah, enjoy the video. You can hit, what was it, L52? Yeah. Hit direct. There we go. Very good. All 88 right. miles away. You're taxiing very well. I want to hear more about those speeding tickets. <laughs> only one, only one singular <laughs> speeding ticket. Uh, Oxnartower.com 2439er is ready to go, IFR. Oxnartower.com 2439er, Oxnart Tower, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 25.com 2439er. You're going to be flying in the clouds today. It'll give you good practice on holding your heading with just using your instruments. Pull back, and here we go. Let's see, gear up. And you can put the flaps up too. See how we sank a little bit when the flap went up? Oh, it looks like a nice day here. We're going to be on top of the clouds pretty quick. All right, I'm going to bring... Whoa! Sorry. Uh oh, you got it, bro. Yeah, I got it. I guess we didn't uh -oh. have that locked all the way. Wow. All right, Piper. I still don't think it's locked all the way. No, it is. It is. It's all right. Okay, so... I don't so, want to be in the clouds and it opens. Yeah, that would be scary. Well, you handled that emergency yeah. nicely. Yeah, it was like... Very good. All right, let's stay on our heading now, okay? Okay. Heading that they gave us. We're in the clouds. Track on 2439. We do approach radar contact. Report on top of campus. Okay, we just came out on top. We'd like to cancel IFR and proceed VFR direct to Oceano. Now I'm going to give us some fresh air. Are you guys getting hot? You can open the window again? No. Did you say you had a flight instructor once that liked to fly with the window open? Yeah, we had one. I don't think I could do that. It's actually legal to open the windows on this airplane when you're flying. Up to how many? Uh, I'd have to look in the book. There is a limitation, but uh, for airspeed. If you get tired of flying, we'll put on the autopilot. We'll talk about other things. Yeah, let's do that. Piper, if we were going to fly to the higher altitudes, we would need supplemental oxygen, okay? So that we can breathe. So everybody gets one of these. All right. And what this does is, this ends up riding like that, and this goes behind your head. I would put it on before I put on my headset. And these two little guys are going to sit right inside your nose. Okay. So then, here's how we're going to hook it up. The way that you connect the oxygen is you, you see how this little L-shaped thing? Yeah. We're going to push up and then, and then turn by turning it. Okay, so we open this flap. We put it up there. Push up and turn. Okay, now the next thing we have to do is we hold this up in the air. Okay, and there's a little ball down at the bottom. You see that little ball? Yeah. Okay, so... You see these different altitudes? That's 10,000, 12,000, 13, 18. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this little meter to the altitude that we're going to fly at. So first we've got to turn the oxygen on right here. So slide that lever forward. Okay, and you see the... Okay, that's good. You see where the ball is now? Yeah. Okay, so let's, 
close this fell by turning clockwise to bring it down to 15,000. Yeah. Bring the ball down to 15. Okay. Now that was actually counterclockwise. Okay, so now you this is clockwise. Right. Okay, so when you turn it clockwise, you are closing off the oxygen. See how it comes down? And then counterclockwise, you get more oxygen. So, all right, so go clockwise and bring it, bring it down to 10,000. Perfect, that's good. So you control the rate of oxygen flow with that valve, and you want to make that ball match the altitude we're at. So if we were at 12,000 feet, it would be right there. Okay. Is oxygen flowing right now? Yeah. Go ahead, put it in your nose. This way? Okay. 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 So this feels so weird. Why does it feel weird? I mean, I was expecting to actually feel something. Well, you're not breathing pure oxygen, it's supplemental oxygen. So it just gives a little bit of... Um, we don't need it unless we're above 10,000. 12.5. Right? Oh, 12.5. 12,005. We don't need it. We're just showing you how to use it today. Now, to shut the system off, Flip turn this valve off. That's the main valve. Okay, now, this thing right here, I want you to... twist it. Push it, push we it up. You have to turn it off, like, oh no. Yeah, push it up and twist counterclockwise and then pull it out. Counterclockwise. Uh, there you go. All right, now put it back in just for practice. Okay. Um, okay, and then watch the ball go up when you turn the main valve on. There, you see that? See the ball? Okay, so now you know what you have oxygen flowing. All right, you can turn that off and pull it out. Demonstration is complete. And I believe the regulation is anytime you go over 12,500 feet for 30 minutes, supplemental oxygen must be used. And do we have uh, oxygen for everyone on the plane? Yeah, here's mine, here's yours. Six people have hookups. Oh, cool. Okay, and then this tells you how much is left in the tank. Remember the four bottles that we showed when we did the annual inspection? Oh, Those four yeah. green oxygen bottles? They're up here in the ceiling. And um, they're and all hooked. enough for like uh... Oh, you could go to Chicago. Oh, okay. We could make it to Chicago. Okay. Okay, Pipey. What I need you to do when you're done taking selfies. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's take the altitude hold off. So press the altitude button again. Okay. Now let's use this rocker switch to go down at 500 feet per minute. How many clicks? Uh, maybe three. That's good, right there. All right. We're looking at clear skies. Yeah, but you see there's some, there's some there's some coastal fog. Yeah. Now when we get there, we'll visually see if it's there's visibility to land legally or not. And um, it might be that, yeah, they are overcast. If they're overcast, we're not going. If they're overcast, we're going to switch our plan and go over to San Luis uh, Obispo Airport and have lunch there. Okay. Which is very close by. Yeah. Okay. A little change of plans. Yeah. All right, so why don't you make the radio call? It's San Luis Obispo Tower, dot com, 2439er, 15 miles southeast, landing with x-ray. Uh, San Luis Obispo Tower, dot com, 2439er, 13.8 miles out, southeast, landing with x-ray. Dot com, 2439er, just uh, fly northbound, so just heading 020 and join final for runway 29er. All right, so we're going to start slowing up here now. Let's go ahead and put down your uh, landing gear. Got a good speed going there. When we get down to the runway, we're going to level off. And I'll tell you when you can start leveling off. We have a lot of runway. So we're not going to let it land. As it slows down, we just keep bringing this back. There. Very good. Nice job. That was good. Very good. The restaurant is right over here by the tower. Uh, 
this is the pulled pork sandwich with sweet potato fries, and it came with baked beans. This is the Caesar salad with homemade croutons, a little bit of black pepper. Fish and chips for Pat. Looks really good. Do you know the proper way to have your napkin on your lap? No. So, you're supposed to fold it like this. Okay. And you have the uh, open side closest to you. So that when you dab your mouth, you dab your mouth on the inside corner, or the inside of the napkin, then fold it back up so you don't see any of the food. So like that? Uh-huh. That's proper mm. etiquette. This is a gyrocopter, and the, the main rotor blade is not really powered, but it has a pusher prop. The main rotor blade just acts as a wing, and they're operating now on that little pusher prop in the back. All right, we've got two helicopters flying in tandem, coming in for a landing, coming in for lunch at beautiful uh, San Luis Obispo Airport. We just watched this, I don't even know what it's called, land while we were eating at the restaurant and then watch them push it in to park it. This thing is so lightweight and... That's said it's called a gyrocopter. Gyrocopter. It's a gyrocopter with a shark face. San Luis Obispo, ground.com 2439er, airport, restaurant, taxi for takeoff with Zulu. Dot com 2439, San Luis ground, runway 29er, taxi via Alpha. Via Alpha.com 2439. They have a lot of corporate jets here, don't they? Yes. Boy, it's like it's a convention or something. I don't know. Wow, it's a lot of, a lot of money sitting here. Maybe it's a maintenance facility. You can hook your window if you want. All right, we're closing my window and it's really latched nice. You know, Pepper made sure hers was this time. Yeah, yeah. good. <laughs> That's not happening. All right, Piper, you're on the bottom of the rudder. You're not locking a... down them, you're aware of them. Oh, oh. All right, you're at the bottom of the rotors, okay? Stay right in the center line. Everything's in the green. And you can rotate, pull back on the yoke, and do your takeoff. Yeah, look how it fogged in here. Yeah, no, it's still there. It? I mean, that's solid overcast over Oceano. I don't understand. What's the difference between these and these? Oh, okay. These are both communication radios. They call I know, them COM radios. COM2 and COM1. Okay, so right now we're transmitting. We're talking on this one, okay? But we're listening on this one. Uh, Normally in this airplane, I, you can do it any way you want, but I talk in number two. And we're talking and listening to the controller now. So if I want to listen to COM1 on the headset, i got to select that button. Okay. This is the audio panel right here. Got it. So if you didn't have headset or your headset went out, you could listen to it on a speaker? Yeah, right here. I'll show you. So we'll listen to COM2 on the speaker. You're actually hearing it on the speaker. That's cool. So yeah, and here's our emergency... Speaker. Um, microphone. microphone. Wow. And you just press this button right here. Yeah, that's the emergency. That's if all of our headsets went out or if the push to talk on your yoke didn't, didn't work. And we also have a backup walkie-talkie that plugs in. Oxygen used to scare me, like when I would go on big planes when I was younger and they would demonstrate oh. how to use it. Oh, I always yeah. thought it was like a bad thing. No, it's not. It's a good thing. Sometimes if somebody has a headache in the plane, I'll put them on oxygen. Yeah. Or if they're an elderly person and they have problems breathing, like COPD, yeah. um, even fun. at the lower altitudes, they might require oxygen, supplemental oxygen. Yeah. So it's really nice to have on board. Carl on the airliner, could you just drop uh, one or two oxygen masks if you want, or do they all have to come down? They all have to come down, but they, they do have walk-around oxygen bottles. Oh, okay. So, is that us? 
Oh. Turn the speaker off. I never use the speaker buttons. <laughs> so this just controls what I'm going to hear in my headset right here. Got it. Okay. Yeah, it's a good question. So if, if one person needed oxygen on a commercial plane. Yeah, they have like on the 747, uh, 27 oxygen bottles. So they bring the bottle over to them and they give them a mask. Oh. Most passengers that need oxygen bring their own bottle. Really? But sometimes they don't know they're going to get sick on the plane or need oxygen. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, we carry it. But in this plane, we have four big bottles in the ceiling, and it's kind of nice to have. We are prepared. So we got a nice, look at, look at our ground speed, 176 knots. That's uh, 200 miles an hour. It's 199 miles an hour. So we have a nice speed going to Oxnard. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're hauling like crazy. And sir, if you're at the, over the Oxnard Airport, please contact Magoo on 128.65. Now, she just told this pilot oh okay, uh, give me just a moment. to go over to Magoo. Tom, 2439, contact Magoo on 128.65. Good luck. 2865 for Magoo.com, 2439er. Okay, 12865. Why'd she say good luck? Uh, I, I don't know. It must be my voice. I like that. <laughs> okay, so you can say Magoo.com, 2439ers with you. And we have information kilo. Magoo.com 2439ers with you. We have information kilo. Com 2439er Magoo approach. Uh, VFR descend on your discretion. Roger. Com 2439. So he said VFR descent our discretion. In other words, we can do any altitude we Whatever want. Whatever we want, yeah. Which is really nice. Okay, so Piper, we're a little bit high because we're at 2,500 feet and the airport's like right down here. So what we can do is let's kick off the autopilot. Uh, these two paddles. Pull these paddles towards you, both of them. Okay, you see that kicked off the autopilot. And now, let's go ahead and fly the airplane with your hands and go ahead and make the speed brake go. All right, it's, the light's going to come on. You're going to feel the shutter, and that's going to help us get down. Whoa, we're going way down. Yeah, it's like a roller coaster ride. Is this ride. too steep? No, it's fine. We need to get down. All right, Piper, so pretty soon we're going to make a left turn and parallel the runway. You see the runway, correct? Okay. Like when? Uh, when you get to that road down there. So let's get rid of the speed brake. Dot com 2439, runway 25, clear to land. Clear to land, dot com 2439. All right, Piper, let's put down landing gear. One notch of flaps. Wait, wait. All right, thank you. You're smart, very smart. 10 degrees flap? Yes, please. You're right in the center line. It's looking really, really good. You can bring the nose up a little bit because you're a little bit fast. That's good right there. That's a good pitch. Take that all the way down. A little steep here, so bring the nose up, bring the nose up. All right. Level off right above the runway. Pull back, pull back, pull back. There you go. All right. Very good. Well, we'll try to go to Oceano next time. There are restaurants there. All right, welcome back. How'd you like that? Pretty smooth flight, huh? Well, we didn't get to land at Oceano Airport because it was windy, uh, the weather was unavailable, and as we flew over, we saw that it was way too foggy to land. So we took a little detour just a few miles over to San Luis Obispo Airport, and we ate at their beautiful restaurant. We got to see some mil military helicopters take off and some really cool planes, and now we're back home. So guys, as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, please. And if you have any questions or comments about the plane or me or anything, you can leave those down below. We always respond to them. And make sure to follow me on Instagram too, piper.afton. That should be in the title. And yeah, stay tuned for next week's video.